Amity claims uh, to be the front runner in patenting. 700 plus patents filed by Amity. We have aligned our R&D toward the national missions and global aspirations. Delhi College of Engineering was the mother of IIT Delhi. IIT were being blamed in those days for making big expenditure uh, on the ex from the exchequer money. So nothing moves without mechanical engineering. Welcome to Shiksha.com. Today we are in Amity campus, Amity University, Gurgaon campus. Mein hai. जहां हम बात कर रहे हैं वाइस चांसलर ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी डॉक्टर पी बी शर्मा जी से वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू शिक्षा डॉट कॉम सर वॉट ए ग्रेट प्रिवलेज एंड ऑनर सर वेन आई वॉज रिसर्चिंग अबाउट यू आई फाउंड आउट दैट यू हैव इन आई आई टी यू हैव इन विद डी टी यू बड़ा लंबा शिक्षा का सफर आपका रहा तो शिक्षा ने आपके जीवन पर क्या असर डाला सर थोड़ा बार हमारे दर्शकों के लिए एजुकेशन दैट आई है सर from the school level to the college level, engineering college level at the city of Bidisa. I, I studied and worked there up to the age of 23. In fact, I graduated in engineering also. From Bidisa. From Bidisa, the college of engineering in those days was competing with the regional engineering college at Bhopal. And I became deeply interested in science and engineering primarily because I thought that this is for a great service for the humanity at large. I graduated in 1969 with a gold medal in engineering of the engineering faculty almost same day i was appointed as a lecturer oh, in wow. engineering in the same college where i graduated by my principal professor natu i am a mechanical engineer and in those days and even today i would say with immense pride that nothing moves without mechanical engineering and your next destination was iit then my next destination was that i was selected by government of india i was selected as a national scholar to go for higher study abroad i opted to go to birmingham because that was the place from where much of the power of great britain grew in terms of engineering and technology so i pursued my masters degree in 1973 74 and i also continued for my phd over there so i finished my masters and phd in birmingham and in birmingham and then as the luck will have it i received job offer from iit delhi as well as iit kanpur and others and they asked me to join Uh, while you were there in Birmingham, while I was in Birmingham with five advance increment without making any application, okay. and so I thought it Mother India calling, so I joined IIT Delhi. When you chose IIT Delhi, sir, yes, how was your family's reaction that time? Family was also in a sense happy because Delhi was well connected to Vidisha and Bhopal. Okay. You take a train overnight and go early, reach early morning to Vidisha, and uh, I also thought that. Delhi is a great place to be because. Did not they ask you why why to leave Birmingham for Delhi? It was a difficult decision for the family, but for me, I had no second thought. I realized the value and worth of working on our research for doctoral research or master thesis for a problem that is live and which is relevant to the industry. So that's why when I joined IIT Delhi, I started beating the drum that education and research must go together. and research must be aligned to the needs of the industry Before that and society it was well it was not a bad word in those days and iit were being blamed in those days for making big expenditure uh, on the ex from the exchequer money but perhaps contributing less to the research and development i took it seriously i had series of projects with me which were sponsored by aeronautic research and development board of government of india and then comes a time when somehow rather i was telling that if i become iit director i'll do wonders okay. because i thought the leadership has a role and i found that most of the iit directors were loners they were sitting in their own koji offices one day uh, i was granted my wish and i was selected as the director of delhi college of engineering through upsc i was quite young i was 42 only at that time which year it was sir that 1990 1990 when did you start at iit delhi iit delhi i joined in july 78 delhi college of engineering by the mother of iit delhi i served delhi college of engineering for 12 years uh, 20 years 1990 to 2009 and when delhi college of engineering became delhi technological university i was made the first vice chancellor of delhi technological university by the government by the honorable governor of that day so this way i thought that there was a cause and i served the mission for which i went there there was a time when our innovations in delhi college of engineering were considered to be even superior to iit we were among those who made the first unmanned aerial vehicle and got the most innovative design award in the world competition in america which none of the iit could dare to participate at that time and i was so happy that the amity university 
uh, was in those days bubbling with great enthusiasm and with a visionary vision of uh, translating the dream of their founding fathers to make it a research and innovation driven university. Which was the year when you did? This was 2014. Today, we stand taller. Amity claims uh, to be the front runner in patenting. We have 700 plus patents filed by Amity, including 227 from Amity University, Haryana, where I'm sitting now. We have hundreds of higher end projects in all over Amity University. Today, here at Amity University, Haryana, also, I have 99 higher end research and development projects. We have understood how to pursue research of value to our own country and for the global community. We have established research clusters. We have established, in fact, centers of excellence around the areas which matter. And we have aligned our R&D towards the national and national missions and global aspirations. And we are driving the agenda by leading by example in areas that matter. And that is why sustainability is a buzzword in our campus.